let's get to it. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, can I go? I've been waiting what? on you. All, All right, right, let's go. Welcome everybody to the Three Way Podcast Show. I am your host with the most Los, uh, and with me today we have a whole crew, and we got special guests. So uh, behind the magic of it all, of course, we got Jerks, we got JP, we got JD, and from all the way from Canada, uh, the guys from Here by the uh, Earlobe Podcast. Play, play, play. Oh, yeah. Not here by the Earlobe. <laughs> <Earlobe. God> damn it, Lowe's. You're fucking up. Here by the Earlobe Podcast, so Chris, big. Brian, and Leo. Say hi, you guys. What up, what up, what up yo? What up? So today we got the Canadians versus the Americans. Wow. Right? Mm-hmm. It's a showdown to decide it all. And on uh, what? Decide what? There's there's we're, nothing. We're gonna, we're gonna there's, we're gonna see who's better. So no, nah. uh, but seriously, guys. Uh, obviously, oh, with uh, current issues going on, I want to get everybody's perspective here on uh, the differences, basically, on COVID. You know, you guys are going through it, or gone through it, or went through it. I don't know. We're, we're so we're yeah. so yeah. in the kind of going through it. Yeah. Yeah, we're in the midst of it again. Uh, as you as you if you've been watching the news, as you know. Yep. So yeah. I again, say- we're still on the first wave. What you mean? Again yeah, is uh, for the do- next couple months. Uh, but yeah, sure. Uh, but yeah, I want to see. How's it going for you guys over there? And then, from your perspective, how do you see America going through it? Well, right now here, it's it's been a lot more like I guess steady and calm for with all of it. Like at the very beginning, we were getting like thousands every every day, right? Uh, now we're usually under two hundred on a daily. Yeah. So like around yeah. like one sixty for the whole state or province for yeah, us in Ontario. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like oh, in the yeah. last few weeks has been pretty yeah. good to be honest. Below we've been 200. like reopening shit and uh, just, just kind of like maintaining it. I yeah, was. Which... Oh, mm-hmm. go ahead, JD. I was gonna say, which province are you guys from? Ontario. Okay. Ooh, um, I was listening to your guys' last episode, and y'all were talking about uh the club. That <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was kind of funny stuff. <laughs> Yeah, so downtown oh. Toronto, we have a street called King Street, and that's where a lot of these big fancy clubs are. And one of them decided to have an illegal yeah, like, secret, party. secret party one night. And right now, at the time, we're only allowed to gather in max of tens, and they reported up to 150 people spotted at this club. Hold on, do y'all know anybody that showed up there? Nah, no, nah, nah, not, nah, not that nah, we. Nah, they're they're not, not, also, no one's gonna come out and say that they went there. You know? like, oh, <laughs> no, no, like right. I could have been there. I'm not gonna tell you guys. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I ain't gonna put nobody on blast right now. <laughs> word, word. I don't know what you're Shit, talking about. I was there. I was there. The fuck? Yeah. Now, but, no. So, have you guys gone out much? Is there, or y'all really like? digging in or uh, is it pro- periodically Yo, like the last the last month and a half i would say we've been kind of like all right let's just like yeah. chill a bit more and more and more and now like the last few weekends obviously it's been getting yeah. nice out here and like we everyone's going up. to the Everybody parks meets everyone's yeah. going to the parks everyone's just drinking at the parks so everyone's just kind of like all right i think we're good we're still gonna you yeah. know you still have to wear a mask and like stay apart from people but and they only let a certain amount of people in stores or restaurants but everybody's out now yeah you know yeah. it's kind of yeah. in the sense it, it does feel like we kind of like got over the worst of it but yeah i've, I've seen many times people are just like you know so okay, we're good now so uh like for us right here because we're we live in houston texas and so texas is like i don't know if y'all know this everybody thinks like we're cowboys and we ride horses and shit <laughs> that sounds about right uh, and, and and we're like our own like nation really really texas is its own thing so we're different from from the rest of the country in that regard so for us here like we never really shut down completely we were still open all right like, people were still going to, everything was open like, everything bars, was open uh, there was like like, like 75 percent no, there was 75%. like there was like a month that everything was closed yeah yeah, then, yeah just and one month. then people started complaining was, and then they it opened up everything before. And then the the spike in COVID happened, yeah. and then they're starting yeah. to shut down stuff again. Damn. Well, so so what, what so what ended up happening is like the 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 bars were closed, but they started like complaining because they weren't working, they weren't making money. Mm-hmm. So they opened the bars like to twenty five percent. And then a week later, it was 50%. But no one, but no one followed those. those yeah, days. nobody. nobody <laughs> no one did. So bad, like, man. yeah. And like the thing is, it's like people, and that's one of the things, like I don't really think, 
you know, because they, the, the way I see it sometimes on the news, they make it seem like Houston is dying. And like, nah, bro. I know a lot of people that got COVID, bro. they're already over it. Like, oh, it's bro. already passed. I wow. literally, like this, yeah. Already, like, uh, look, I already had one. I work at a bank, so I'm essential over here. So I've been, I've never really stopped working. I, I've been at work yeah. this whole time. Um, at a point, we did kind of limit the branch. We're not really limiting anymore. Um, just today, I had someone come in, and now I didn't attend to this person, thank God, but they straight up told my coworker who was attending to them that, yeah, this, I'm, I'm, I just got hit with my second case of COVID. Oh, yeah. Dang. No, what? you're doing here. And they went to the bank? They went yes. to the bank, bro. But see, See, that's why everyone that's thinks crazy. like, oh, it's it's like the the government or like the we have here. It's not. It's just stupid ass people. Like, uh, <laughs> I'll give you an example. So my sister works for the medical field, and she works for a call center for heart surgeons and things like that. And so they've been like on a lot of extreme lockdowns. So this dumbass that works alongside <laughs> or a coworker goes to Miami, gets COVID, comes back to Houston, takes a test, and goes to work the very next day. Damn, Next thing you damn, know, they had to shut down everybody because yeah, they had to damn. quarantine everybody. It's yeah. just stupid people. Damn. Like, if you know you have COVID, like, sit your ass at yeah. home. But that's the thing. I, a lot of people don't. And and I, it's not I, really the, the government's fault. or It's just stupid people being dumb. Well, I think it goes two ways. I think it's Americans being very selfish. I mean, I think uh, we have a that's lot true. of that here. Selfishness. Uh, don't worry about anybody else. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I, I don't. <laughs> and then I don't. <laughs> And then I think you have also the government not being uh, enforcing enough. No, I mean, yeah, I, I mean that, that's yeah. their job is Honest, to like yeah, keep shit under control. Working, uh, Honestly, like, I, I like feel America, like right? I feel like the government, like for us, it's it's a lot of it. It's driven like with, uh, of course, money, and also driven with the 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 people that are electing them, especially like our representatives. Like I, I think like since we're such a huge state. We're Americans. It's really hard for us to just be like, oh, yeah, let's stay home, try to protect everybody because COVID, yes, it's it, it's it's fast spreading. But the thing is, is like it doesn't it's not going to kill everybody. The thing is, is it, it's going to only really hurt people that are already either already sick with some to come some kind of like under under uh, 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 like uh, already and like has diabetes, yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah. Or is elderly. So if you're yeah. like young, you're not going <laughs> to give a shit, especially like nope. here. So it, it's really hard to control that situation. But you know what? It's funny, though, because the, the guy in New York, the mayor or the who was it? The mayor, the uh, governor or something like that. De the Blasio. The, the one yeah, who actually Blasio. got COVID and said, all right, now, fuck that. We're closing everything down. <laughs> and then, like, yeah, yeah. eventually, like, you know, they're, they're starting to see the 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 positive of doing that type of uh, stuff. But I don't know. But man. but but see, Elias, and, and that that's where it comes to where I'm saying people have to be responsible because when you have people they're not, home, that's, that can catch, that's why there's a government, like, dude. JD, that's why JD we have cops. People, they're not yeah. responsible. They're, they're, yeah, like people that are, are that came into dumb. my branch. Yeah, because the I government do? can only do so much. Like, I mean, like you know, there's so many people. Uh, like, you have to be responsible as an adult. Like, JD's like, look, dude, I can't go out because I have people here. Mm-hmm. You know, and JD, how long have you been like stuck at home for for a um, while now? March fifteenth is when we started everything. Damn. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I, I don't. It's gonna be longer too, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm not. I'm not like stuck. Stuck at home. I still go pick up groceries using the. Uh, yeah. 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 Those, the, yeah. The yeah. Or so, and yeah. I still we still make Starbucks runs every day. He's just. But that. I don't. You know, I was before this. I was an Uber driver, so I cannot. I had to stop doing that because of the, yeah. the risk of picking up COVID. My mom has respiratory issues right now. I'm, you know, because of everything's going yeah. on, I'm sticking with my can't really go out, right? Yeah. So I can't. Yeah. I can't risk bringing that back. And her I mean, being infected because she would not survive it. She really would yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and and with that being said, like over here, it's kind of especially at the very beginning, everyone was kind of like on the same page. It's like, all right, the government is telling us like we shouldn't be going out, we shouldn't be trying to spread this shit. Like everyone be responsible. And then <clears throat> I think what helped out a lot was because they implemented uh, this thing called CERB, which is a Canadian yeah. Emergency Relief Benefit. So basically, it, if you're out of work. Uh, because of COVID, let's say you worked at a restaurant, got closed down. Mm-hmm. Um, you can still re- apply to that program. Uh, you'll qualify for it, and you'll get two thousand dollars every month that COVID is yeah. around for. So, you know, what I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> like and it's pretty awesome. You know what I mean? And, and like, yeah. it's, it, it, it's a nice way to like for people to feel like 
they don't have to be at work yeah. force them to to, to they can just stay home Everybody yeah just, force yeah. them to, to possibly exposing themselves you know what i mean mm-hmm. that, so I it kind of gives us a chance to kind of i guess flatten the curve you know what I mean? which we've kind of already done right see like for here what i've been noticing because i work for a, a company a debt settlement company and we furloughed like 95 percent of of the people there so uh, i have a lot of friends that are not working right now and what we're providing is uh, unemployment. And through unemployment, mm-hmm. if you qualify, you not only do you get your your amount every two weeks, but you get six hundred on top of that. Oh, that, so, that's going to end uh, at the end of this month. Yes, but just for Texas. Yeah. yeah. Um. Bec- yeah. Because they were like, we're eating too. You guys are eating too. Because literally, people have been. For example, I have a friend who shall not be named, uh, who's been chilling, living living his best life. Um, yeah. He went to Austin before they shut down completely. He's he was making I think it was like a uh, I think it was like between fifteen hundred and seventeen hundred every two weeks. So yeah. overall, he was Damn, making good. really good bank, more yeah. bank than he was when working. Yeah, and yeah. so he's and so that <laughs> yeah. that's been since March. Like this yeah. dude's been chilling, and it's it's July, mm-hmm. and they were thinking about extending it. So he was like, "Man, I'm not," gonna, and that's my issue because people are like, "Oh, I'm not gonna look for work. Why? You know what I mean? Like, and yeah, that's, that's, the thing. that's like, There's people need, like that here too. Yeah, we like we need to get this shit on the road. Like people can't be at home, and and lately, I, I don't know if you guys know, there's a trend, and it, the more you stay home, like today, I'm breaking all rules. Like I'm going out. I've been at home since March. America. I work at home. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm going out one day. America. Just, one day. So, hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I got the that's right. why that's why that's, that's why that shit will continue here I, I, I exactly understand right everything there. now yeah. no, 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 but, but I get it I mean you're cooped up for so long you want to yeah. go out the weather's getting really nice like over here trust me over here we only get maybe like two months or three months of really good summer weather and the rest of the year it's like basically winter so for us, you know, what I mean, it's really tough to tell us to stay in to not be going out to not hang out with your friends you know what I mean but at least now we're not having like thousands and thousands infected every day. We're only having like very few. So mm-hmm. at least we feel, you know, good enough to go back out to like the patios at the bars, mm-hmm. yeah. hanging out at the park with like our buddies and like having drinks and shit. So yeah, just, just you know I mean? today, I think I saw a news story uh, come out here in Houston that our ICUs are pretty packed. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah? so we're in that, yeah. we're That's about weird. to hit that stage where, mm-hmm. That's but it's not it's not covid it's mostly people that are i already have scheduled surgeries yeah i don't know sure. where you got that um, okay it's a fact yeah stop bsing bro surgery okay not the uh pandemic going through but anyways um uh so our mayor has already announced beforehand that if we got to this uh stage uh, we there's we have different stages: stage one, stage two, stage stage three. Yeah, right now, yeah, we're in stage yeah, three. We have the same thing. We're like what, so stage, stage, stage three would be where they utilize literally stadiums and uh, to make room for hospital beds. Now, I don't know. If, we haven't really announced that yet, but if we keep that's going crazy. the way we are, then that's the next yeah. stage. Well, I, I can tell you I, right I now that look, I, I work for the I work for the Houston Health Department now, so I can tell you for sure. That that two hundred and fifty million dollar FEMA check they got at stage one right now, it's it, they, they, I wouldn't take it away. I wouldn't like second guess them actually doing that, like taking stadiums and doing that for like people that have COVID or whatnot, because at this point, like they pretty much have free range of like of everything like to do to try to prevent the spread of it. Um, but that doesn't mean like like even at work, dude, like yesterday. Well, yeah, yesterday I was at work and they're like. Oh, now it's mandatory for everybody here, especially everybody who works for the city, to always have your mask on. Doesn't matter if you're like sitting like at a cubicle. It does, uh, the only times you can take it off is like if you're eating, and that's it. That's uh, it. I mean, I, I feel like some of that stuff is a little bit overboard, but I, I do think you should wear a mask when you go to the <clears> grocery <throat> store. But you know, like there's certain things where I'm like, like I'm not gonna be wearing a mask at home or, no, or a mask yeah, in the no, car. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to wear it in the car. What the hell? When you're, when you're in the public, when you're in the public, yeah, yeah, you're in public. public. Oh, no. yeah, yeah, but like, yeah. let's say for example, like you're still far away from people, like you can still be without a mask to a certain point. Nah, I, nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, I, I honestly nah, wouldn't. America. <laughs> I, think over, I really think, bro. I really think they're overreacting. Like, I think it's ve- it's very it's very good to keep the elderly away from all of this. But uh, one of the things I think that that has not helped the situation is like 
literally outside of i would say no even gaming included like everything is fucking slow and like there's no good music coming out right now at all <laughs> uh, in my opinion everything's pretty much trash i don't want to hear Harry, i don't want to hear Harry Styles. Oh, we cares? got 10 minutes boys <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going. You're talking about COVID-19 way too long. Like, there's nothing really good. Like, they're not even... And that's my thing. I would think, like, movie theaters would try to find a way to, like, make an app or, or movie, movie... Movie theaters are like, open it, here. No, oh, I know here. Are. But no one's going. Yeah, no, they are. <laughs> yeah, they're open. Well, they're not open here. They're not open here. Hey, but you know what? You know what's funny, though? Like, <laughs> I, I, I think I was telling JD earlier or this past week or last week or somebody, I was telling them that that uh, movie theaters are open. Of course, nobody's going. Of course, they're not releasing new films. So I think exactly. I think there was an article saying the number one movie for that week or whatever was Jurassic Park from like 1995 because they, they have they have <laughs> to show replays movie. of old movies. I was like, fuck it. I would have known. I would have taken my dumb ass to go watch it. Fuck it. I'm shocked that it's even open. That's crazy. But, yeah. But you know, this is just like, and we were talking about that in, in a previous podcast and how this is going to show how, uh, you know, certain companies such as sports, uh, like ESPN, uh, Disney, you know, how are they going to release content? Like, for example, what are you talking about? Amazon. You haven't been watching the cornhole co- tournaments? No, I'm not watching Bro, stupid ass cornhole that tournament. That shit is Like, <laughs> ESPN, like, dude, it's so, like, th- right now, the big thing that is everybody's hope is July 31st, where basketball is going to start. Like, everyone's yeah. like, come on, let's get this through. Let's get this through. And then uh, we also have, you know, for us here in the States, we have the NFL right around the corner, supposed to start in September as well. And um, you guys, are, and they're saying that they want to have like everyone in the stadium, right? I think Come they said they. they uh, I think uh, the nah, Jacksonville. Okay. Well, they, but did they make a cap for like fourteen thousand? No. Yeah, something? Jacksonville uh, already has like. I think they already said they're gonna have like a twenty five percent capacity for the stadiums. So they're not going to. And they up. should. I think they should. And, and then my uh, friend said, really? I think that's the regular like attendance for a fucking Jacksonville. <laughs> 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 no, you know what? Like, like, it's just it, but back to the point, like, I think the greatest time I was having during this whole COVID uh, point is like watching The Last Dance with Michael Jordan on ESPN. Yeah, yeah that was like sick. that was like I was always looking forward to it, you know, like watching it every Sunday, hearing all the shit talking like it gets you pumped up. And we haven't been like, th- there's that. And then gaming, you know, you would think with platforms like E3, they would find ways to to do it everything virtually and improve like Xbox, PS4, yeah, no, Nintendo Direct. Ass. Man, it's been straight ass. And then <laughs> you have that. Then we're going movies. Like they haven't even opened an app where you can like buy a movie or release the new movies so you can buy it. Yeah, like they they're just stuck in their old ways. And it's just showing me like, if this ever happens again, these companies are going to lose even more money because they don't want to adapt. Who They're still cares? stuck to their own yeah, way. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> money. And, and I, like, I feel get your ass home. Like, who, I don't <laughs> Says the guy who goes out. Says the guy who goes, man, I don't want to hear that shit. Says like, the guy who's we're, 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 we're always out. We're, we're always, you know, we're always, you know, talking about COVID-19 and how it affects Bro, us. Bro, don't talk about and I get that, like that. He looks real But right I feel now. like there's... <laughs> now with this coming up, I you would think that they would come up with ways to be better uh, equipped for the internet. You know what I mean? Yeah. To better stream. To make, I mean, like for ex- this is a perfect time to next find year, a way for the get next movie year. theaters no more, to be better. We see. You know what I mean, we see I mean, I mean to that point, to that to that point is, is like. This is a learning curve for everybody. Word. You know, I mean, no one has yeah. ever gone through this shit. Yeah. Also, so, they make a lot of money just like just from people going to the movie. So they probably thought, oh, this shit's gonna last me for a few months. Like everyone's just learning now yeah, how long this shit's yeah, gonna be. Exactly. So it's kind of like why jump the gun and just maybe wait to see what happens. Yeah, that's what they're yeah. doing. They're waiting they're to see what's gonna, gonna, see gonna go. those new innovations next time around. Yeah, next time yeah. this shit's gonna happen. Everyone's gonna be on the ball. Yeah. You know, what I mean, everyone will know what to do. Like. Just now, like no one knows what the fuck's going on and what's what's the next thing. Yeah, that's the thing about this whole pandemic is you realize that like no one knows how to deal with this shit. Not our government, nothing. Like there's like every government is doing it their own way because there's not a one way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I think the one the U.S. cases seem to go up. I don't know. Everyone else. Is- <laughs> yeah. I mean, it just means you, maybe it's you guys aren't doing it the right way. <laughs> well, well, I mean, this it, is going to be it's a double edged sword. I mean, if we do too much, people are going to bitch about it. If we don't do enough, people are going to die. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, so you, 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 there is no there's no happy medium at this point, unfortunately, because you're, you're going to be pissing off somebody. Yeah, so, I mean, hey. well, like, yeah, you can. There's no way you can ever please everybody. But you got to like got to find the right path. You know, what I mean, do we let millions get infected or do we you know piss everyone off 
and ah, let, let we'll get thousands of tickets. Unfortunately, we're pissing everybody off and millions are still yeah, getting like, like, home for like a year and a half. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. you won't be having any fucking movies for a year and a half, bro. We'll be watching movies. Yeah, they'll be releasing all here in Canada. You can't watch watch shit over in Hey, as long as I wake up at seven in the morning, go to work, and I'll catch traffic because there's not like a lot of the people anymore. Yeah, it's I'll take that L. But you know, like I was looking today at numbers. Uh, Hulu has spiked. Uh, yeah. Netflix has spiked tremendously. Yeah, course, yeah. They're making straight up bank, <laughs> and like that's what I'm saying. Like you would think companies would adapt to that type of mentality. They don't want to, man. I they just... want to make that box office money, bro. They don't want to make that money. You they don't want to make that Amazon money. They don't want like, to because they know they can make fucking millions off the box office, way more than whatever they make on Amazon. Yeah, they'll make see, it back. The, the part, the, part of the yeah. problem is right now these these movie theaters they're still paying for space that they have to take care of. So if they try to switch, to oh, a good point, good point. You know yeah, they're not going to take care. Yeah, of every, each everything other. is tied in together. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I just feel like the, 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 you would think like. Cause even Bad Bunny released like an album, like people were jamming it. Hey, you know, did you see my thing? boy Bad Bunny on Playboy? Uh, no. <laughs> Damn, that shit was fuego, my guy. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm good. You have a full spread, yo. Fucking came <laughs> think, out the middle I of think fucking. He did. I, I, you know, I don't, I don't bro, buy physical media no more. Twenty twenty, but I, but I, I heard, I heard it's pretty good. You know, hey, what I'm man. Ben hey, was hey, excited about that. Cool? What? <laughs> what? Nothing, never mind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, like, we, I mean, we only got a limited time left, so if you guys have any more questions for us before minutes. we wrap yeah, up? Yeah. All right. Top. Is Leo a nerd like he is over oh here? <laughs> what do you mean by that? I, I, he I, is I, a nerd. I can answer your questions, yo. I actually, I actually yeah. have a quick question for you guys. So All right. Quick question. Let's hear it. How did you guys get started doing podcasting? Oh. Uh. Well, we've been friends since like uh, elementary school, and we've always been toying around with doing a podcast. Yeah, like the then, last two and a half, we always yeah. talking about what oh, was a good idea to do a podcast, yeah. and we did it. And then this guy one day is just like, "I'm gonna buy the shit. You guys buy your own mics. Let's just fucking do it." Yeah. We did it, and and now we're 18 episodes deep. We've been doing 18 weeks in a row. Yeah, I- I've been listening to you guys podcast a lot. Um, Leo, stay away from U.S. politics, please. You don't live here, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I will gladly stay away from that. Yeah. All right, stay. Yeah, please, no please do. Stay away from that. Shit. No, I'll be like, I'll be like, did Leo just say that? Like, he act like he never been in the hood over here. I know he went to my apartments like last year. He's no <laughs> so, yeah. like, but uh, uh, I, I think it's pretty cool that you guys are making a podcast. It's, it's the Thank same you. way that me and Elias and Lo started. We just like just got on there and we just started doing it. Uh, they, they needed a token white guy, so they had to meet on. Yeah. <laughs> we needed diversity. We needed uh, diversity. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, never before has a white guy been used for di- uh, cultural diversity. So, uh, <laughs> yes. tell, tell the people where they can find your content, guys. Yeah, uh, you can find us on Spotify. If you go Spotify, put in "Play by the Earlobe," you'll find us on there, as well as Apple Music. We're on there as well. Uh, you guys oh, don't do video music. yet, or what? No. So we actually are gonna announce come our season finale which is episode 20 mm-hmm. um that we're going to be implementing a video for our second season oh, wow okay, okay. hey i just got uh, yeah for real spoilers i just got to say one thing leo take that damn 90s picture off the play by the earlobe thing it's like, <laughs> it's like straight up 90s bro we, we've been like, saying that yeah we, like, we were still working, working on it we're working on it we're working on it take a pose take, take a picture of <laughs> pose like i'm not looking like, come on. I didn't man. agree. Okay, look. Yeah. All right. That was just what we had. I never, that wasn't the first <laughs> choice. That was the only choice we had at the moment, right? God, that was a horrible choice. Like, yeah. oh, Lord. <laughs> I right, imagine right, the right, other right, options. Right. Hey, don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. But thank you guys for, for joining. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. Hard work. Hard work. Thank thank you for having us. Hard work. Hard work. Hard work. Yeah. Hey, next time we need to uh, use something yeah, that doesn't give us a guys, fucking timeline. Watch. You know what I'm saying? For real. There's a countdown. Holy shit. Well, we'll uh, just get started uh, on time next time. That's yeah. it. Uh, stay safe. Wear a mask. You too, yeah. guys. Stay, stay safe. Though. It's bad down there, so be don't safe. worry. Be safe. Be safe. I'm from yeah. Texas. We'll survive. <laughs> so, wait, say it one more time, Elias. America. 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 USA. <laughs> USA. 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 You you know <laughs> hey, hey, back to back world champions, world war champions, back to back. Wait, what? Right. what? 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 <laughs> Yo, back to back. Like a wave, man. Yeah, back to back. Uh, back to back. Got acting like champions. it's a fucking NBA, NFL fucking. Hey, hey. <laughs> regular world season. Champions, hey, right now y'all be Germany if it wasn't for us, bro. Y'all be Germany, oh bro. God.
yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. You're right. Uh, hey. Right. Hey, it's like it's like Brazil. Their five rings are from the, like, it's like the Cowboys. Their five rings are from the past, but they always love to bring it up. Hey, yeah. this is what it is. You're no better, y'all. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Later, guys. Peace out. Turn your lights, Lowe's. Good hey, lord. Bye. He's quarantined.